Hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. Welcome back to Super Math for You. Today we're reviewing the Algebra 1 EOC, adding and subtracting polynomials. The first thing we're going to do is in addition, all right? So we have two polynomials and we're adding. The first thing that we need to do is, all right, can we get rid of those parentheses so we can combine like terms? That's the whole idea. In front of this parenthesis, there's nothing multiplied. Like I'm saying, like there's no three or anything else like that. All right, because there's nothing on the outside. Then I can get rid of the parenthesis. So I can rewrite everything again, like 6x squared plus 10x minus 7. In front of this parenthesis, there's a plus. Technically, you have a plus 1 right there. That positive is not going to change anything on the inside. Because remember, let me put the, the signs over here. A positive times a positive gives you a positive. A positive times a negative gives you a negative. A negative times a positive gives you a negative. And a negative times a negative gives you a positive. So when the signs are equal, it's going to give you a positive. When the two signs are different, it's going to give you a negative. All right, keep that in mind. Negative, negative, positive. So now I have a positive and a negative. It will give me a negative. A positive and a positive, it will stay as a positive. So... When there's a plus on the outside of the parenthesis, nothing will change on the inside. Once you get rid of those parentheses, you just need to combine like terms. Start with the highest exponent. This is like x squared and 2x squared, right? x squared that x squared, those are, are like terms, all right? Like terms. Then I have a plus 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 gives me 4, and I keep the same variable, same exponent. Next x i have an x here and i have an x there then i have 10 plus 4 which gives me a 14 and i keep the same variable same exponent i already used those fours the only thing that is missing is this negative 7 i'll bring it down and that will be my final answer okay keep that in mind next one again plus in between so i'm adding I check outside the parentheses, there's nothing. So technically, I can get rid of those parentheses. So I have AB squared plus 13B minus 4A. Outside of this parentheses, there's a plus. And as we noticed already, it's not going to change anything on the inside. So 3AB is positive, stays positive. The A stays, the 7B stays positive. As soon as I'm, I got rid of the parentheses, I combine like terms. Where do I start? Does not matter. I can start with the AB squared. I have AB squared here and AB squared there, right? Those are like terms. Because there's nothing in front, then what I have is a positive 1. Okay? If there's no nothing in front of those variables, you have a 1. Anything else here? There you go. Here you have a plus 1A. So now I combine the 1AB plus 3. 1 plus 3 gives me 4AB to the second. I keep the same variable, same exponent. Now let's go with the A's. A and A. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And I keep the same variable, same exponent. So that's negative 3A. Uh, next one. B and D. 13 and 7 gives me 20, and I keep the same variable, same exponent. So keep that in mind, all right? So first step, get rid of the parentheses, and after that, combine like terms. Now, let's get into uh, subtraction. Okay, guys, always in my videos, check for the description. Description of the video, there's all the links, and there's more tools to help you review for the Azure One EOC, all right? Always check the description. Excellent. Parenthesis, parenthesis, and I have a minus in between, so I'm subtracting. Nothing in front of this parenthesis, so I can get rid of that parenthesis. But there's a minus here. So as we remember from before, a minus is going to change the signs on the inside, right? So minus on the outside gives you a minus, and a minus with a minus gives you a positive. Be aware, these rules go always for division as well. All right, so let's go. The 2 is a positive, so this is a negative and a positive. Negative and positive gives me a negative. 
negative and positive gives me a negative. Negative and negative gives me positive. All right, negative, negative. I'm using these two rules. Once I got rid of the parentheses, I combine like terms. I always start with the highest exponent. Y squared, Y squared. 5 minus 2 gives me 3, and I keep the same variable, same exponent. Uh, next, the Y with, uh, is there any other Y? Oh, I forgot the XY here. That's my mistake. So it's XY x y here right same two variables same exponents now i combine the numbers 2 minus 2 gives me zero they cancel out last but not least i have a negative 9 and positive 3 no variable so those two are called constants negative 9 plus 3 gives me negative 6 all right when they have different sign and again now we're combining like terms or adding when they have different sign, the rule is you subtract the big number minus the small. So 9 minus 3 is 6. But then you keep the sign of the bigger number between the 9 and the 3. 9 is the bigger one. So because this is negative, then it's negative. Okay, so that's how I got negative 6. Let's do one more. Uh, a north subtraction, nothing outside. So here I can get rid of the parentheses. Let's rewrite what I have there. And this negative will change the signs on the inside. Negative, negative gives me positive 12 R squared, right? Negative, negative gives me plus 2 P R. Negative, positive gives me negative 8 P. Once I have that, let's combine like terms. R squared, R squared. There's no number here, here so you have a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 12, or 12 minus 1 gives you positive 11, R squared. Next, PR, PR, 8 plus 2, positive 10, very good, PR. Uh, next, P, P, if there's no number here, you have a negative 1, negative 1 minus 8, is negative 9p. When they have the same sign, I'm still doing negative 1 minus 8. Same sign, you add the two numbers and you keep the common sign. That's how I got negative 9p. All right? Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And our next video is multiplying polynomials. I'll see you the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.